Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are continuing on with our transformations unit going on to rotations, specifically IXL L8. And here we are going to be uh, graphing certain rotations based off of the instructions that they give us. So first let me open with this. Uh, there is a very uh, clean way to rotate certain objects depending on the kind of rules you have. So let me kind of show you this sheet right here. Um, there are four, maybe even three specific rotation rules that you could use to make rotations much easier on you so you don't have to try to visualize things, okay? So right here, if you're rotating something 90 degrees in the positive counterclockwise direction, then all you're gonna do is you're gonna flip the X and the Y like this, and you're gonna change the sign of the Y for Rotating 180 degrees, either counterclockwise or clockwise, it doesn't matter, it's the same thing. Uh, you're just going to flip the sign of the X and Y without changing them around. For 270, you are going to uh, switch the X and the Y and then flip the sign of the X coordinate. And then this negative 90 degrees, that's just 90 degrees in the clockwise uh, direction instead of the counterclockwise direction. And if you look on a graph, that's the exact same thing as saying 270 degrees counterclockwise, which is why they're the same rule. This is the same thing. You're, you're either going forward three quarters or backwards one. Either way, you end up at the same exact spot. So we'll use these formulas or uh, these rules when performing these rotations. So first, here we have uh, graph the image of QRS after a rotation 270 degrees counterclockwise around the origin. Wonderful. So 270 counterclockwise, so 270 in the positive direction. If we go back to our rules, we see that's just switching the X and Y and changing the sign of the X. So uh, right here, let me make a copy of this like that. And we'll uh, write down some of these. So it looks like R is going to be comma five comma negative one Q looks like it's going to be at negative five comma negative four okay S looks like it's going to be at negative nine comma negative one and we have our three points Cool. And so we're gonna go back to our rules here. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna switch the X and the Y and flip the sign of the X. So we'll go back. So for R prime, we're just gonna flip the negative one and the negative five, and we're gonna switch the sign of negative five to positive five. So that's going to be negative one comma five, which is gonna be negative one, and then one, two, three, four, five. So right here. So that's gonna be R prime. Okay. Okay, let's do Q now. We have negative five and negative four, so we're gonna switch them. So it's negative four and negative five, and then we're gonna flip the sign of the X coordinate here, which is uh, now positive five from negative five. So our new coordinate's gonna be negative four comma positive five. So we're gonna go negative four and then comma positive five up here. Right there. That's approximately gonna be Q prime. And lastly, we have S. So we're gonna switch them. So it becomes negative one and negative nine and then flip the sign of the nine so it's officially negative one comma positive nine. So we're gonna go negative one and then all the way up here to nine. And that is going to be S prime. So we're going to draw our line from there to there to there. Okay, we have just rotated that point uh, there. So we'll just retrace that on the I excel, so we'll go nine down to five, I believe, and then over to negative four, so like this. And 
that should be correct, okay? Uh, we can do another one here. So now we want to rotate this, the square right here, D, E, F, G. Uh, after a rotation, let's see, 90 degree counterclockwise around the origin. So 90 degrees counterclockwise is 90 degrees in the positive direction. So if we come over here, it's going to be our first rule. So all we're going to do is we're going to flip uh, X and Y and then change the sign of Y. So come back here, come back here. Okay. So it looks like E is at, uh, let's see here, negative seven, negative four. Negative seven, comma, negative four. Okay. F looks like it's at negative seven, negative three. D looks like it's at negative eight, negative four. Negative four. And then G looks like it's at negative eight and negative three. Cool. So now we're just going to apply the rule for 90 degrees counterclockwise about the origin. So we'll go back here and remember the rule is just switching X and Y and then changing the sign of Y. Okay, so we'll start with F here. Negative seven comma negative three becomes negative three comma negative seven. Flip the sign of the negative three. So it's positive three comma negative seven. So positive three is one, two, three, and then negative seven is gonna be down here. Good, that's going to be F prime. Okay, now on to E. E, we're gonna flip them and change the sign of the negative four. So that's gonna be positive four, negative seven. So we'll go positive four and then negative seven. So right here. I'm not going to write uh, E prime right there. Seems like I've already taken up enough space. Uh, and then we'll do the same thing for D. Negative 8, negative 4 becomes positive 4, negative 8. So positive 4 and negative 8. So down here. Again, I've already taken up, taken up enough space, so I'll not write it. And then we have negative 8, negative 3 becoming positive 3, negative 8. So positive 3 and negative 8. So right here. So this is what the square looks like. like that after rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise. Now keep in mind, 90 degrees is only a quarter turn. So naturally we're just gonna end up in the next quadrant uh, next door, right? So we start here in quadrant three and we end up in quadrant four over here. That makes sense, it's just one quadrant away. So we're gonna replicate this now over here. We're gonna go negative, let's see, three, negative seven, and four, negative seven, this, this, and that should be correct. Good. Okay, now you're just gonna apply the same rule. That's 90 degrees counterclockwise. 180 degrees counterclockwise. So for this one, you would just uh, change the sign of X and Y, but you're gonna keep them in the same position. So for instance, uh, L right here is at negative three, negative one. You're just changing the signs for both. So it's gonna become positive three, positive one. K is at negative five, negative seven. So we're gonna do positive five, positive seven, positive five, positive seven. J is at negative five, negative eight. So we're just gonna do positive five, positive eight. So five and eight and then m is at negative three negative nine so positive three and positive nine so positive three positive nine there you go submit okay 180 counterclockwise same deal and that's it so it's just a series of rotations they'll give you either 90 counterclockwise 180 counterclockwise 270 counterclockwise 
but watch out for the word uh, clockwise here. Counterclockwise is positive. Counter